everybody, it's me, Andrew, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for December 15th through the 21st. And so we are almost there. We're almost to Christmas or Yule or whatever you celebrate. Um, it's very exciting. I hope you guys are having a really great month so far and that you guys are really um, tapping into a lot of the energy that um, is available to us and all the help from God and the angels that we have. So this week I'm going to be using a deck that I have not worked with in a really long time actually and it's kind of um, disappointing when I see you know this amazing deck and how I haven't kind of had the time to, to really work with it like I should. But I'm going to be using the Angel Therapy Oracle Cards um, by Doreen Virtue of course. And I'm as I shuffle the cards I'm going to ask for real um, therapeutic guidance and healing guidance this week um, as we head into um, one of the craziest weeks that you know, we're going to see, you know, the week after this one, you know, to get us prepared and to get us fully um, ready for all of the wonderful time that we'll have with family and friends and loved ones. So these cards are trying to find the one that wants to come. That's Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and let's see here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Cool. So, wow. So, the card that I got for the beginning of the week is actually our card of the day for today um, the 14th and so this is really going to be a theme carrying forward into the beginning of the week is be willing to forgive now if I'm not mistaken our card today was um, forgiveness and healing or forgiving and healing or it was a, it was about forgiving um, and how it heals you and so the angels are really stressing this. It was meant for me to grab this deck because of this card. So that's amazing that that happened like that. So it's definitely amazing. They're really wanting to let you know that starting out the week, be, be easy on people. You know, it's a really stressful time of the year. You know, there are some people who, who may not be having as, as, as much of a good experience with the holidays as you are, and you may be one of the people that aren't having that good of um, an experience this year for whatever reason, you know, whether, you know, you don't have a lot of friends or family or, you know, whether, you know, things have been tight, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter the circumstances, but just know that forgiveness is kind of the door to open, to open all of the, the windows and the doors and whatever else you can open in heaven for them to pour out blessings on you. So, Think of it as forgiveness is like a pot of dirt, or forg or you know you're a pot, and you know forgiveness is just filling the pot with dirt and like you know grimy things like rocks and stuff like that. But when you use when you forgive, that dirt gets scooped out and it keeps getting scooped out, and then pure gold is put in there. Pure gold is put in the pot of your little life, and it just makes everything. It's hard to do. Forgiveness is probably one of the hardest things that I think I've ever had to do. And it's one of the things that I still struggle with. You know, from anything from road rage to, to past family issues. You know, forgiveness is really hard. And it's one of those things that you have to really be the bigger person in some situations to forgive somebody even if they don't ask for it. And that's when you know that you're doing something right, when you can forgive someone without them asking for it. And even though you know that, you know, they're not gonna turn around or change or anything like that, that's when you know that you're doing something right when you're able to forgive people like that. And this card says ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. So that's what happens when we get all of these angry and hurt emotions from our past to God and to the angels they take it and transmutate it back into peacefulness and love and compassion. So it really says start out the beginning of the week. I'm carrying on from them, the card, which was 
Sunday's card or today's card into that wonderful area of forgiveness and self-healing. And they're also telling you to forgive yourself. You know, if you have made bad choices in the past, forgive yourself. Because beating yourself up over it isn't going to change what happened. So forgive yourself. Because it's one of the most important things you can do. Huh. So the next card, and it just follows perfectly, is the Heart Chakra card. And this card is talking about being open to love and how we feel about ourselves. The Heart Chakra is... How our, is where our self-esteem is. It's kind of how we feel about ourselves and um, kind of the love we show and how we help other people. And so the heart chakra just works perfect with be willing to forgive because it talks about showing love. And it talks about showing such... I'm just I'm amazed at this reading with these cards because, you know, the beginning of the week is about forgiveness and the second week is about love. You know, we struggle with forgiveness in the first part of the week and then love comes in in the middle of the week, and just says to be open to giving and receiving. Let people love you. You know, don't don't be the kind of person that doesn't accept help from people when it's offered. Um, because that's one of the biggest things, and I struggle with it too, is someone, you know, saying, hey, I'm going to help you. Or like, even if one of my friends is like, hey, I'm going to buy you a coffee. You know, I feel, like, I feel like I can't. But don't do that. Don't do that. Because... When you let people love you, even if it's someone buying you a coffee or if it's someone giving you a hug or giving you a compliment, don't say, oh, no. But accept it. Say, thank you so much, you know. Accept that love. And once you accept it, you'll have nothing but love to give. So that's a, this is an amazing card for the middle of the week. Let's see what's at the end of the week. Oh, we have the Sacral Chakra card. And the sacral chakra is about um, respecting our sensitivities and kind of avoiding harsh um, items, situations, and kind of like harsh relationships we have going on in our life. Because, you know, this is the, this is the time of the year where, you know, if you have harsh relationships with people in your family or you know, in your circle of friends, you know, this is when it's going to come out. You know, this is the time of year where everything gets a little bit more stressful. This is saying to, to, to take a step back from the drama and take a step back from the, the harsh things and just go back to love. That's interesting because that, it was actually like they said, you know, go back to the love card as well and talk about that some more. So, but it also means to literally go back to love. You know, don't, don't mess around with stuff that the, doesn't even mess around with, you know, if, if something's too harsh for your energy, walk away from it. Don't don't feel like you have to be in a situation that's not good for you. But the love card. Love yourself. Love every part of yourself. Love yourself. You know, if you don't love you, who else can? You know, love yourself and be happy with yourself. And realize that all the harsh things that you're going through and the trouble sometimes you may be going through and all the questions that you have, they're all inside you. They're all in your heart. You just have to tap into it. You know, it's so amazing that we have such a wonderful support group, you know, with angels and God and Mother Mary. And, you know, it's just, it feels so good to to have a, a, a I guess a group like I said before a group of, of such powerful beings that are willing to help you in a moment's notice to be there as soon as I say Archangel Michael can you please come here right now he's here right now he's here I already have an angel on my tree <laughs> so you know as soon as we ask for their presence, they're there. So take advantage of that. They love you. They want to help you. They're not here to hurt you. You know, they're not here to, to see you fail. They're here to help you and to make you, you know, be strong and, and to help you succeed in everything that you do. So don't for a minute think that you're not worth it because you are amazing. 
So the middle of the beginning of the week starts out by forgiving people, including yourself. The middle of the week says to love people. Be open to giving and receiving love no matter what form it may take. And the end of the week talks about avoiding harsh situations and people and places and going back to love. And just love say like love the people, send love their way, but walk away from them physically because it's not gonna be something really harsh for your energy. So if you would like a reading from me, I am posting um, all of my information below. Um, I do have kind of a very cool announcement that I am going to actually be offering a year reading. So one card for each um, month of the upcoming year of 2015. So um, that reading will be available shortly on my website um, as soon as I'm able to get around to, to, to posting it. But um, So yeah, that'll be available as kind of your yearly forecast, as kind of how you can plan your year. So, And I will be using um, one deck of cards for um, all the readings that I do with that because I feel like tarot is a very um, excellent system for that um, for as far as forecasting the year. So I will be using the Angel Tarot cards um, in respect to to that. So I'm very excited about offering this reading. It's going to be amazing to, to let you guys know what to look forward to um, in 2015. So I will see you guys next week for my weekly Oracle card reading which will actually be on, let's see, what's today? Which should be on my anniversary. So on my 9th anniversary with my boyfriend. So that should be great. So um, that'll be kind of a fun reading to do too. And then um, that reading will probably come out like three days before Christmas. So we get to see what Christmas holds for us. So have a great, great week, you guys. I love you. I'm always here on my page if you need me. You know, just, I'm just a message away. And if I don't get back to you guys as soon as I, as you know, as soon as you would hope, I am sorry. I do work retail and it's insane. <laughs> but um, I do try to get back to everybody that, that writes me. But um, I love you guys so much and have a great, great, great week. And angel blessings to each and every one of you. Bye.